Okay. Just move it slightly up and then we can start filming. But what you are going to do is you're going to be yourself. And when I mean by yourself, you're going to do what you always do at home. And that's talk to yourself. Yes, that includes the time when you was in the bathroom and you came out and your sister wondered who the hell are you talking to? And it turned out I was having a full blown conversation with myself. Yeah, I think that'll do. Ah, fucking hell, you should be fine. Hey guys, it's Ashman here and you know what? I haven't said that for quite a while. Well, to be honest, I haven't been called Ashman for a few months now. So for the last vlog I made, which was actually five months ago now, what's new about me? Well, um, well, now I now officially have four eyes. Um, I have a uh, pin-up girl tattoo on my uh, peck, man boob, boot boob. Um, I've changed my room around. Um, my bed actually used to be where the window was, but I've now changed the bed from there to here now. Uh, well, technically it actually wasn't my idea, it was someone else's idea. Uh, it was quite cool that uh, she, she did a plan, she did like, a little drawing of her bedroom and like, said, right, we're changing your room around and this is what she, it should look like. So I thought, you know what, let's just do it. And then um, we did and, and I kind of like it, find it better this way. And then what else is there? Um, oh yeah, uh, the picture behind me. I'll get closer for you. Me and that's, oh, God say, what's wrong with me today? I have to take this off somehow. Right, so, um, right, this picture, actually really cool because it's 3D looking. Don't know if you can tell, but every time I move it, it's 3D. The reason I got it was because it's um, dogs playing, it's a bunch of dogs playing what you call pool. Um, it's pretty cool, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, the one thing that I don't understand is why the hell is that ball green when it should be white? Um, but what's good is, um, what I've noticed in this picture is that these four dogs are the good dogs, and these two dogs are naughty dogs because they're smoking. And smoking, ladies and gentlemen, is bad for you. I don't know why I said ladies and gentlemen, it's not. Oh, let's get on with the bloody video. So, um, I was on my laptop one day, and I thought, let's go and check my YouTube channel, see how I think it is. And, um, I looked on there, and I just, and it, and it came to me, and I noticed, um, I haven't actually uploaded or made any videos at all. The reason for that is I had college. Um, I was in my last year and we were, on, we were doing our very final FMPs, which it means final major project. And basically, we had an exhibition as well, so basically we had to finish our FMPs in time and set the exhibition up as well so it could be marked and being shown to the public as well. And let me tell you, it's been very few stressful months, I can tell you that. And I think it's safe to say that the whole of my class, for as soon as it was over, I'm pretty sure they said in their head, thank fuck for that, because I sure did. Um, but I think we all wanted to make it perfect and get a good grade because some of us were going some of us are going to uni, some of us are going to employment or apprenticeship, some of us are probably gonna be um what was it? Uh, some of us are probably gonna be um like leaving having a gap year or something. But probably most of us will probably become buns. Um probably just lays about for a little bit, find jobs. Um but now now our course is over, um, I can get back into filming and that's what I really want to do when I'm older. I want to get into the filming business, how, whatever way there is, either getting into uh, getting famous on YouTube or whatever ways are there. 
like getting into actual um, the industry of filming, either way if possible. Um, just what I think I'm going to do is now I've finished college, I'm going to do as many videos, upload them on this channel, and just hope for the best. So a couple of weeks later, after I finished college, uh, we I went to Turkey for 12 days. Now, if anyone's going to Turkey or is, has, rec has been recommended it, or is interested in going, I definitely I would definitely go there because. I can't remember where we stayed at, but it was such a nice place. It's nice and hot. It's relaxing. When you're there, you just you can have the most relaxing time of your life. Before we went, I was really nervous, and the reason for that is because I haven't at, at the time I was I've been on the plane for about 12 years, and plus I've never been away without my family before, especially that far away. Um, and I was really nervous about that as well because because my me and my family are very close. We've been through so much that we've come close. And ever since our granddad died, he used to be there to pick up all the pieces. But because he because he's been gone just over a year now, um, we're all stuck together. We've been there for each other, and. Um, yeah, when I was there, I did have days when I felt really missed him, and because I worry a lot, I worry a lot about like the most stupidest things ever. It sometimes got to me, and I didn't know what to do because I felt really down. Sometimes I felt really down, and some days I feel happy. I'll tell you what: if you're ever gonna text anyone on holiday, don't text them so many times because you'll get the biggest fucking bill of your life <laughs> because I did my bill I, was, I came home about what about a week in like that I came home I got a bill from Vodafone and uh, it was a hundred and thirty nine pounds and something pence and I was I was laughing I was like what the fuck where did that come from and then I remembered ah oh, yeah the turkey holiday the reason I was texting my mum and dad was because I was really, like, I didn't know what to do. And because they've always been there for me, and I don't know why I didn't talk to anyone. I just didn't want to, like, I just didn't want to, like, ruin the holiday by keep saying that I miss my family and all of that. Um, but apart from missing my mum and dad and all of that, and everyone in my family, um, I had a really nice time. Um, I really did have a nice time. I had a lovely pool, stayed in a lovely villa, nice view. Um, in the town, everyone's so nice. Uh, I remember one incident happened in one of the restaurants when a man came up to me, rubbing my shoulders, going, "Is your dinner okay?" I was like, "Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. Have a lovely dinner." And then he's like, "Good," and then walked off. I kind of felt awkward because it's like rubbing my back, like, I don't know, it's just, <laughs> I felt really kind of weird, but I didn't, but I don't blame them because that's probably, sometimes they, they like that, um, but they're really nice, they're, the English they speak pretty well, they do their best for rest of them, but, yeah, um, but one thing certain, if I had a time machine, I'd definitely go back, yeah, I'd probably change some bits there, that happens that went quite wrong and um, I'd fix them and I'll tell you um, I'll tell you what I never regretted going to Turkey because I had a really it was a really good experience I mean I'm quite proud of myself going on holiday on my own um, because my mum and dad told me that they, they, they couldn't do that at my age so I felt quite I felt proud of myself that I actually went on a holiday on pretty much on my own. And then I went to the Isle of Wight for my main holiday. Um, it's been a tradition for 12 years that I can remember of. Um, we always go there and it's a really nice place. We camp in a caravan, 
that my dad has. And we had just a really nice time. Went in the kayaks because my dad has a kayak. And then, but the funniest moment that I can think of in in the Isle of Wight was when my sister fell through a bin. Um, but I'll tell you what happened. Bas basically, that day karma got to her because somehow I was walking up the beach. I stepped walking up the beach and then suddenly I fell over, I tripped over nothing and fell straight in my face. Everyone, I felt embarrassed, I got up and was laughing because I was embarrassed and my sister was, um, was her having a hysterical moment on the beach, pissing herself. Um, I got madder and madder but I thought to myself, oh, I can't even get to her and it sure did later on in the day. And basically, um, what happened was, uh, she was in the awning, kept putting her socks on, and I was watching TV. All I heard of was, oh, for God's sake! And I heard this, oh, I just fell from the bin! And I go out of there, and there's bits of bin everywhere scattered across the awning. I just couldn't, I couldn't stop laughing. And my mum, and the thing, the funny thing was, my mum came out and went, oh my God, my bin! Are you alright? And then Kate was like, yeah, I fell over the bin. Luckily, luckily, no, luckily people changed the bin. Because if no one changed the bin right, I'm pretty sure she would have food all over her. And, the f and what else made me laugh was that the fact that my mum went in, I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to straighten her hair, and she just couldn't stop laughing because, because all she saw was a bit, <laughs> a bin scattered everywhere. Oh. You may not find it that funny, but I couldn't look at a bin, and I couldn't even look at her the rest of the day without laughing. I know it's cruel, but it was, it was too funny. You had to be there. If I filmed it, I would have shown you. And then I had work. Uh, one question came to me the other day, and that was, do I continue making vlogs? Um, I had a long think about this, and I think it's best if I lay back on them. Um, my reason? Well, it's, sim it's simple. That's uh, shit. One of the reasons is that I wanted to, wanted to practice. I wanted to get better and practice at it. Because before, I, before I just basically, um, before I just like, um, uh, like didn't plan plan it very well. Just um, went just like that, and I kept stuttering, and then I didn't know what else to say really. Uh, but I think the only one, the only vlog that I think went quite well was the one one I did what was called What's on Your Mind. Um, if you haven't watched that one, I don't watch it because I'm quite embarrassed about watching myself talk on the camera, um, which I'll probably be doing a bit, a little bit later when I uh, edit all of this. But. I think what well, I think the reason it went well because I was talking about the reason why I'm shy. Um, people were kept up, came up coming up to me and going, "You don't talk much, do you?" and all of that. And I kind of got a bit annoyed. Where I, I kind of got a bit annoyed. Where at a point I thought, do "You know what? I'm just going to make a vlog, and I'm going to tell them like, the reason why I'm shy." But if you actually, if you do want to um, watch the video and know the reason why I'm shy. Um, I'm not going to put it in the description bar below because there's about four parts. Um, but if you do want to watch them, just try and find them on this channel. Uh, yeah, I may like do more vlogs, but I think I'm going to practice more at them before I can do them again. One thing I am going to do is something that I call update vlogs. Um, what I'll do there is um, do updates on upcoming films or animations I'm making. Um, one one of them that I'm doing is one one that I've got is one called Cogs of War Episode 1 The Escape from Exelon Prison. Um, that was the reason I haven't actually made any videos lately is because I was in the middle of making that one. And I wanted to kind of make it a little bit of a surprise. Um, about, I made it for college, um, it was in my exhibition. Um, I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but it's ready to upload. Um, I might up, may upload it after um, 
the update, this update vlog I'll do. Um, but apart from that, that will be the next video I'll upload. Um, it's an animation, um, it's a part of the Corpus of War series I'm working on. Um, I'll go on into more detail on that in the other video. But yeah. But I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, before I, this is quite funny, before I, before I, I did this, I was speaking really well. For some reason, my camera decided to stop recording. And everything I said was really good. I can't remember what I said. I can't even remember what I said. It was like, it was really good. I actually can't remember what I said, but pretty much, um, yeah, I really can't remember what it was. But yeah, I just want, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you thought this was better than the ones I did five months ago, then I hope it is because I did have a long think about this. Um, I did quite, I did plan this one quite well. Um, I wrote it out as well. I did notice in uh, that I did trip up a lot. I, like before I camp, before I started, I accidentally kicked my fan, and then tripped over my bench press. Which I thought I'd get rid of that button. No, it has to trip me up every time I come in the room. But yeah, uh, but like I say in each video, if you like if you like these videos or any of my other videos I make, and you want to see more, then subscribe to this channel or if you want or if you want to give me something to do like a film to do or any suggestions that you recommend then leave a comment in the comment section below um, I hope you enjoyed this um, I quite enjoyed it myself um, hope it's I hope they get better soon um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed thanks for watching um, comment rate subscribe peace Ooh, right, let's see if that fucking records now, you bastard.